The accommodation at the University of Ghana has been met with several agitations from students following the school's management decision to revoke the residential status of continuing students. The students say the management of the university has refused to admit the continuing students contrary to the court's order. Eugene Bediaku Jr. is the leader of the aggrieved student. So what you are seeing here is a group of agitated students mm, because as of 8 February, we had lost our residency on the University of Ghana campus. Meanwhile, they gave us up to 10th February to make payments. Last Thursday, the courts, the high courts, a court of confidence, jurisprudence, and jurisdiction had given an order that the status quo should remain. And then that means that people who were residents of Commonwealth or last academic year, continuing students, all of them are to be made to come back. So what we were expecting from members of management was to update our MIS web so that we'll see Commonwealth Hall there and then go and make payments. And after we come here, we'll do manual registration and then we'll be given rooms. Everybody you see here, you, see, you can see their bags. They've been sacked from the UGL hostels because they have not been able to pay. And then our demands were, our demands were simple. We cannot pay. The court has given an order. Take us back. How is that so difficult? The aggrieved students protested against the school's management, demanding them to respect the court's order and admit continuing students in the halls. First, we want to make it emphatic clear today that they stand silent by the investing management. Not to koto to the decision of the court is what? Tantamount to perjury. It is tantamount to what? Unlawfulness. And we want to let them know that we, the descendant of Father Bakus, can never be intimidated. But tension escalated as police and students were involved in scaffolds over the school's silence on accommodation after an Accra High Court placed injunction on the implementation of the residential policy. Other concerned students lamented exorbitant hostel fee and demanded a reduction since it will hamper academic activities. The thing is that they gave us um, some host B, hostels that we should go there. And then that hostel, we are paying about 4000 And then as we speak of today, they gave us deadline to 10th of February. But then as of 8th February, um, that thing has already disappeared from our MIS web. Those of us that were not able to pay. Myself, I'm one of the people who couldn't pay. And so yesterday, they started sacking the boys that did not pay. And then they are using the places there. They started sacking them. And so as we speak of today, we've been sacked from that horse and we don't know where we are going to.